A simple, nice addition. But is this the next level of gaming? Hey, what's up? This is Famous Kid bringing you a quick review of the DualShock 4 back button attachment. I've seen quite a few reviews, but I had to get my hands on one. I was pretty curious and wanted to get a closer look. So let's unbox this thing. Okay. The way the box is very, very light. It feels like there's nothing there. So let's see. Oh, the product is right on the top. I noticed that there's an indication that it's like a touch screen right there. Or is it a touch screen? The side buttons look like you know, little wings, but they're also like buttons or triggers, you know, as well as the as well as the um, the insert jack for your headset. Got a few got your quick setup instructions. Then there's your full instructions and info. Now, now I have a look. Let's see. Let's put this thing together. Okay. All right. Now, so it tells me to put my fingers right there so I could just kind of push it in. Uh, but I don't know. Okay. Now, I notice. I, okay. I just noticed that it has like a little, you know, that the jacket seems like it could be maneuverable. But still, I don't want to mess it up too uh, i don't want to put okay all right so what i did i just it just took me a minute to get it in there so you know um it does look just like it's like it was just made it was made for this controller like it was like a missing piece of this and i noticed that when you um when you switch it on the button it's like a button down there it's like the thing it's like a button but if you turn it on it'll turn off after a few seconds okay now I looked at a few instructions I'm able to kind of like program it in the way I want to okay for example you can actually make your X button be in the back you can actually make like an O button or a square button to be in the back if you want to to be in that back button back there if you want to you know or you can actually like you can actually X them out if you don't want them to work for like for certain games or something like that so also if you wanted to go ahead and reset it you press all three buttons and it'll reset back to us to a set to its factory settings the only thing i am going to miss is the charging station that i usually have and i usually use use that that port in the back that's under the controller that i usually use that's the only thing i'm pretty much just going to miss and it also it kind of feels weird with that extra button in the back when you're actually holding on to the controller but other than that i mean it's it it feels good it, it, it's good i, I got to get used to it i think it's going to play a good part in the ps5 okay but i'm not going to hold you guys up make sure you give a like and subscribe to the channel and thank you guys for just kicking back with me and from gaming to gamer Thanks for watching.